Hello all my nerd friends out there, this is Mr. Chill here, and let's talk about some My Hero Academia chapter 371, and this was a very impactful chapter, you know, very deep impact, and I love the art that uh, Hiro Koshu did this chapter, really great, between, I actually made me become a little bit a fan of Shoji, aka Tetacool. You know, he was just a side character to me, didn't matter, but this fight changed the view of this character. And when he took off that mask and I see the scars and he talked about his background, how he got raised, like he was raised outside the city. And if you know about their uh, metaphor, I think um, uh, metal, I think they're people, they're kind. Basically, anyone that's not pure blooded, that looks different, you know, what, um, what Spinner is. And him and that polar bear teacher, um, Shoji, they get treated differently. They even get killed. Um, they make them, uh, their parents tear off their arms or try and make them pure blood as per or make them look normal as possible. So much torture these guys went through. Like you see him get beaten and tortured by civilians and he's telling his friends. It's so deep, you know. Um, during this fight, let's get into the beginning first. Uh, it's pretty, it sucks too. It makes me hate Awful One so much. Because what he did to Splinter, like, Splinter has no conscience. And I really wish in this chapter would probably be more better if Splinter was fully conscious. You know, he feels like he's, like, kind of, like, he's not all there. He's so brain dead. Like, you he, he, he don't even see, like, he's, like, a rangy Hulk. Like, you know how the Hulk is. You know, Bruce Barron's the smartest person and normal. Basically, Awful One turned Splinter into the Hulk. Cause Hulk's like stupid. He knows a little bit of world of uh, words, but he, like Hulk smash and that, and, like that's how Spinner is. Spinner is basically the Hulk. Um, like if he says right here, if I consider you hurt me, what's the deal with ya? And like they're asking, you guys, we'll follow you. All the people that is behind Spinner, uh, we'll take Kagari back, right? Please preach them the justice you speak of. They're asking, preach, like say the words, tell us what to do. And Spinner's like. No idea. He has the stupidest look. I'm like, dude, that sucks. Like, I kind of want an epic speech from Spin. I want him to hear his side of how he was raised. Like this, this, this fight is between this. The Spinner's been do hell too. Like discrimination, prejudice. I mean, that's what this war, this fight's all about. And Shoji's been through the same thing, but he's taking advantage of it. He's not letting all his hate affect. His good nature, like Spinner, all his hate is affecting. Um, all his hate is basically letting it go. He's taking all his hate on the people that treat him differently, that looks down on him because he he looks different. That's why he's doing all this. Well, he's also fighting beside because he even showed he he cares about his friend. He's he cares about um, Sh Shigaraki Shigaraki a lot. So even, it's pretty cool that the even. Uh, they had a conversation like they're actually really friends and it's showing a little bit close how close they are as well like Shigaraki right here told him you used to play uh LOL League of Legends it shows right here me too though I always play solo and he just he snaps like he's thinking of him even during this fight and he, uh he's he, it shows how, how all for one transfer made him too like he says you have uh I really if you if you're going to use durability, then use this should help. Seriously, scale armor is grant you raw strength, highlight de defense, and the appearance of a true leader. And you just see him transform into like more monsters, armor scales all room. And this fight between he's like cutting off Sh Shoji's hands, like dude, this like really gruesome art fighting. These two monsters looks very cool. Looks like two kaiju's going at it. It's a like, god all press forward, like douche. Like he, I, I don't know, just he, he's not all there. I wish this was like a normal spinner. Uh, he had a normal mind, but look like like this monster as well. So he, cause spinner looks like a madhouse. And this, like the backstory we got, the backstory we got of Shoji is pretty sad, you know? Um, one of his classmates, the one that controls all the animals, I forgot his name, um, that he looks different too. Uh, he remembers the time they talked to each other and Shoji took off his mask and he has nasty scars on his mouth. And he tells him, my parents didn't have arms like mine. I come from a her heroic backwater village where pure blood was so important they would even take arms to 
uh, take arms to children to keep things pure. Others like Takurami, you know, the guy that has shadow fruit, and Koda, all those born in the city, they think they like uh things they think things like they that are behind them. Like they're that doesn't happen in the city, so there's no more races and prejudice. But there are so still so many messed up places where folks will even blink an eye at murdering children for the sake of purity. Like, damn man, they'll go out of the way to kill kids because they look different. And that's that's sad. That is so sad, man. Even the the friends, it's, it was like a hard moment too. Like uh, he said, that's all well and good, but prejudice would still exist. And even the, um, I forgot his name was, but the uh, the grape kid that has like all the sticky fruit, the pervert kid. Um, I called you octopus. He called him a name octopus, and he was sorry. Like, dude, I I, I was just uh like having fun, we're being friends and all. He didn't take it serious either. Uh, Shoji even says. Um. Uh. It's it's natural to think I am an octopus when you see my arms. He, even his name is it. My yeah. I my name. My me. I mean my name. My hero name is Tentacle. Myself like to watch stuff like the most villains looking like heroes and ranking. I'm not bothered by it, so don't you worry. It, it's just so sad how he he went. To, however, these scars, the fact that I'm a hitomorph, that's where um their kindness really give a spectacle impression. That's why I wear a mask. I don't want people thinking. I'm out for redemption. Um, I have tons of painful memories. No, no way I shall ever forget them. But he, this one woke them up. Like I want to be a hero. I want to be a role model. Um, I want people to. He wants to get ready for the next generation. So anyone looks different, they can still fight and fight and ch hope they one day they could change. That's that's pretty remarkable. And he, he knows like now prejudice is not gonna go away anytime soon. Maybe not in his lifetime. But he still wants to be, so I want to become the world's coolest hero. And then I'll pass this good memory on to the next generation. That's why I'll continue the effort to those who came before me. I shall carry that torch. And it's just, it's nice. It was a pretty, and it's just arguing back and forth. I too have suffered the same duration. Our oppression will never be on the right path, on the right. Isn't there another way? Even shows that Fox girl, that, uh, that girl that uh, Deku saved. A while back, when her, um, I think he she was cleaning the um, uh, off of one trophy or something like that, and brought her back over there. They say even several times I turned away from a hit a morph a lot, no hit morph allowed. They said the shelter she'll look for shelter. Went flashback there, and Spinner said I don't care. I tear it all down. He's doing Spinner's doing. They're both fighting kind of for the same reason. They want to tear the system down because the system like all he, he wants to destroy racism. And Shoji wants to change racism. That's all they want to do. They want to change. They want a better future. But if you do it the wrath way, the action, taking destruction, uh, you're just showing more people. More people are gonna hate their kind. They're gonna be more hate. You don't fight hate with hate. And what Shoji's doing may be the long way. Like I say, he may not even be a, by the time. Uh, he may not even see prejudice gone, but he could still. Show people the right way. Now maybe the next torch, maybe his kid, or maybe uh, some other uh, one of his kind, another metaphor will basically pass the torch. Maybe who should be someone that always shows the right way, you know, protecting, annoying all the uh, racism, all the hate, and annoying all the people that doubt you, all the people that call you names, ignore, ignore, and showing you're better than that. You're not a monster. You're not a a gross creature, all the things they've been called and all the stuff. You're not what they are. Um, and what Spinner is, is he's basically giving, show, he's giving into their hate. He's showing that all you are just monsters. You're all just freaks. So it's a deep battle, very deep, deep fight. Uh, think carefully how to channel your rage. After all, we're the ones who carry these scars. Yeah, see. Even that guy, that guy's annoying. He's trying to uh, downgrade Shoji that. Uh, cockroach looking dude. I don't even know what his name is. Uh, but that guy that talks to animals. Sorry, I don't know these characters' name. I only know Spinner and Shoji. Um, basically, don't you dare laugh as uh Shoji launched a whole crow's animal and talks to him. But just the art right here, even the end, like um, Spinner rips off one of his arms and saying disgusting. So what can I say? I, it's just who I am. You just see the blood and fights he only has two arms like i think he just ripping all his arms off this 
It looks very gruesome. The fight between these two going at it is very gruesome. Like hand in hand. I can't wait till this gets animated. Very deep. I loved it a lot. This chapter was pretty good. Chapter 371 was very, very deep. Like I said, made me a Shoji fan after this, reading this chapter. Um, can't wait. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder, I hope Spinner gains his consciousness back, gains some of his um, knowledge, words. I do want to hear some more of Spinner, uh, what, how he felt, how he feels fighting Shoji, like more like, Maybe he could see something, but I know he cares for Shigaraki uh, Shiga a lot. You know, um, he wants to reunite with friends. That the the League of Villains are very close. They want to be together again. And that's why he's um, listened to Awful One. So hopefully he can stop Awful One controlling Shigaraki and get him back to his whole body. That's why I remember a while back. I remember on a couple of chapter Spinner was just watching out, making sure Shigaraki. Doesn't get fully took over that somewhere he's in there. He wants to help him. That's I remember that's his real goal. He does care about all this racist stuff too, but prejudice stuff and all. But he wants to get Shigaraki back somehow. That's what I know about Splinter. He cares about his friends really much. And I wonder who's gonna win this fight. It looks like it's going back and forth. I wonder if Soji's gonna come on top. We're gonna find out next week, I guess. I'm glad my hair goes back. Uh I think they were no, they were they were not on break. I, this came out last week. Uh, One Piece is on break. I think, well, was my hair good break? I can't really. No, Black Clover is on break. My fault. I'm all confused. But give me your thoughts below. Comment below what you think of my Hero Academic Chapter 371. How you felt between the fight between uh, Shoji and uh, Spinner. How you like all this prejudice stuff. I kind of like how manga mixed real life into the uh, manga chapter. Opens people's eyes. Because this, this is real life stuff too. We're facing in real life as well. All this prejudice stuff, you know, it's still around hopping our world as well. Um, and I like how they affect it with these two characters going at it. Tentacle and um, Spinner. Very deep story that uh, Shoji had. Very deep background. And I like it. I like his message. I like his strength. I like his heart. I like this character a lot. Made me a fan out of it. And that's how you do it. I, that's how I like it. You no. Know, um, I, I don't believe, to me, I don't see... Uh, Shoji uh, winning. I'll say he will lose, but I have a feeling Spinner is gonna come on top. But I think he's gonna change a bit. You know, he's not gonna listen to awful, awful, awful one in his mind anymore. He's gonna probably somehow back away um, and listen and hear uh, Shoji's speech. I bet you affect him somehow. I had a feeling it might it might change him somehow after this fight. We might get a different Spinner after this fight. That's how I feel. I feel like he's seeing more. Damage done to Spinner. Spinner is very strong. Definitely the help with all for one power. But I think it's going to affect him inside his heart, basically. A little mood change, uh, personality change of Spinner. We'll see. I can't wait for next week, though. It's good. How you, Mar so far, My Hero Academia, the ending of the chapter has been going great. The ending of the last arc has been going great. A lot of things happening. A lot of things. I love the game. Involved with other characters, um, um, I'm glad some uh, we gain more background story to certain characters. Like Soji is pretty cool. I liked it. Like to know his background, and like I say he's not doing what the others kid did to. Uh, I mean, I forgot her, her name. The one that likes music that he, she did to off one. I hate when they got involved with the big dog. I'm cool with the side characters. You know, you get uh, Toga and Dobby. These kids want to fight them, that's cool. But leave the big dogs uh, alone. Don't affect the awful one. Awful one should be fighting um, real heroes. That's how I see it. <laughs> uh, Deku or all, um, all real hero, like when you fought Endeavor, that's, leave that alone. Like, Spinner facing Shoji was a lot more better in my book. That's cool. It makes sense. But give me your thoughts below what you think of my hair chapter 371. And... Thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel to get all my manga reviews. And I'll talk wait, can we talk to you again next time on some great mangas? And also happy Halloween. Just in case you watch this on October 31st. Happy Halloween. And I hope you have watched a lot of scary movies, eat a lot of good candy, enjoy your holiday with your family and friends. Trick or treat. Have fun. Good night. And have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.